Hello everyone, it's Cash here, back with another video. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a stamina system in Roblox Studio. Before I start this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe, and let's get started. So what I'm going to do is open up Starter Player and then Starter Character Scripts, and I'm going to insert a local script. I'm going to name this Sprint, and I'm going to define the character, so the character is script.parent, and then the player. And the player is going to be uh, game dot players dot local player, and then we're going to do local sprint key equals enum dot key code dot left shift. So there we go. Uh, now we have the sprint key, and then we'll define the user input service. And if you don't know what the user input service is, it's the service that gets input from the player, like uh, if you press your mouse or keyboard. Okay, so then we're going to do local, or actually function start sprint, and then another function stop sprint, and then go down here, uh, right here, and do one called check key, and in here just put key, and then is typing. Okay, and then what we're going to do is also up here put uh, uh, well, we're not going to put sprint. We're going to put star or do sprint. Okay. And then what we're going to do is uis.input began connect function. And then we'll do check key. And then up here we'll do key is typing. And that's it. And then do key is typing true. Okay. Copy this, duplicate it, and put ended. And then instead of true, we're going to put false. And then what this is going to do is in check key, we're going to do if do sprint, or actually, we're going to do if not is typing, then if key dot key code is equal to sprint key, then we'll do if do sprint then we'll do else so if do sprint means if you're you want to start sprinting then we'll do start sprint and we'll do stop sprint so what this does is when you press the shift key it starts sprinting and when you stop pressing the shift key and you let go it stops sprinting then what we're going to do is in the start sprint we're going to get the humanoid also so go up here under character and do local humanoid equals character find for child humanoid and then in start sprint uh, before we do anything we're actually going to create the local stamina so local stamina is going to be a hundred and then local max stamina equals a hundred and actually what I'm going to do is stamina equals max stamina and what that's going to do is basically that defines the max stamina that you can have and the lowest stamina, or not the stamina, the current stamina you have. Okay, we're going to create another variable, and this is going to be called sprinting. And then we're going to create another variable called, um, well, no, never mind. Okay, so in start sprint, we're going to do sprinting equals true. And then in soft sprint, we're going to do sprinting equals false. Then, but before this, we're going to do if stamina is greater than zero, then sprinting equals true. And then we'll do else sprinting equals false. Okay? And then down here, we're going to make a while loop. So while sprint or while wait, do if sprinting then and then we'll do else if sprinting then humanoid dot walk speed equals to run speed or actually we'll do sprint speed and then humanoid dot walk speed equals to regular speed okay and now up here we're going to do local sprint speed equals 32 then local regular speed equals game dot players dot or actually game dot starter player dot starter character scripts dot um, should be or no actually it's starter player 
dot uh, character walk speed. There it is. Or actually, what we could do is if you wanted to just humanoid dot walk speed, but I'm gonna do it this way. And now this should work, but what we have to do is while sprinting, we get rid of the actual um, like stamina. So that's what we're gonna do here. So while if sprinting, then humanoid dot walk speed equals to sprint speed, and then we'll do. Uh, we have to get rid of the value. So um, what we do here is actually we can get rid of this up here and just do sprinting equals to true. And then we'll do if sprinting, then if stamina is greater than zero, then we do that. And then we'll do else uh, humanoid walk speed. Copy this. Okay. And now we also need to get rid of the actual stamina. So stamina minus one. Now minus equals one. And this is going to go away really fast. So what we could do is do the wow weight thing uh, and actually take away, like, uh, or make it go like small or make it wait longer. But instead, what we're going to do is just press play and check it out. So if we run. And we wait a second. There we go. And it's never going to regen, so we have to add that. So we'll do else if not sprinting. Then we do stamina plus equals one. So what that's going to do is it's going to add the stamina back after you stop running. So if I run, wait a second, run again. Uh, oop. So just run, run for a while, run for a while, run for a while, stop, we go for a second, stop, run for a second. So that adds the stamina and stuff. So it's pretty simple. And if you want to make a GUI for this, so you can have the, like, have a stamina bar, what we do is put this down here. I'll put the whole entire stamina bar like right here and copy this put it under there change the size to 1010 change the position to 0000 change the background color to green and then change the original one to gray actually we'll change the original to red so whenever you scale this one down right here takes away the bar Okay, so we'll call this one bar, and we'll call this one uh, stamina, oh, stamina bar background. Okay, and then what we can do is change this to just interface because this would just be your regular GUI in your game. Reset on spawn, um, we'll make that true just for the sake of this video. Uh, you, you can do whatever you want, but what we'll do here is just while wait, we can do player dot player GUI dot interface dot stamina bar background dot bar tween size udem two not dot new stamina divided by max stamina and then zero one zero. So if we press play that should work. And actually, no, um, we did something wrong. So the thing that we did wrong here is, I guess, well, we'll put it at negative and see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it's going backwards. Oh, no, 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 okay, so actually, we did it right. The only issue was we have to do right here, if stamina, is not equal to max stamina, or actually we got to do is less than uh, max stamina. There we go. Okay, and it's going loading. 
and it's kind of buggy for the reason it's kind of buggy is we have to just make between um like it's automatically at like one or something like that so to get rid of that just enum dot easing direction dot n enum dot easing style dot linear time and then we put this at zero try that out and that works works perfectly so you have a stamina bar and when it gets to zero perfect so that's how you create a stamina bar in Roblox Studio it takes literally one script it's not that complicated of a script it's just a long script because uh, you have to do so many checks it actually could be simpler if you wanted it to be but I just go above and beyond when I make scripts like these because I like doing all the check keys and all this uh, so you have everything but it could easily be done in literally these two lines right here you don't have to do all these functions but um, you know that's how I roll anyways that's all for today guys make sure to subscribe and hit the like button down below I have a discord server if you want to talk to me about any issues you have on Roblox Studio or if you need help with anything um, I also have a Roblox group I make games so please go check those out anyways I'll see you in the next video bye